Hi there, Mrs. Gleason here. Today I'm going to show you how to draw a castle. Some of the things that you want to be thinking about when you draw your castle is do you want to have a gatehouse or do you want to have a keep which is where the big house where the king and queen live? Do you want a moat around your castle? Do you want towers for your guards and how many towers do you want? Be thinking about that. Flags. Do you want to put up some flags on the towers or near the gate? If the flag is up, the queen is home. So that is a symbol. So you always wonder, why are those flags on the castle? That tells you that the queen is home. Do you want a drawbridge? If you have a moat, you probably want one. And then you want to think about how you want to make the walls. Are they brick? stone what is it made out of so let's get started as you can see here I did draw a couple towers so we have a tower here and here and often towers are round so you notice that I didn't go straight across here I kind of rounded it and then you can round the top as well so if you want to pause this part of the video so that way you can get a better idea of how to draw the towers, then you could do that now. You want to, when you start your castle, you don't want to draw the castle in the background first. You want to start with what's out front. So as you can see, this is everything that's out front. So the drawbridge and the gate. If you have a moat, the moat is down here. So what's in the front? And then you will move on to what goes into the back. So then you can start drawing the castle in the background and maybe the castle has some more towers in it. And do you have a flag? Is the queen present? It looks like on this one, the queen is here. And then you can start adding your details. So as you can see, I started adding more of a brick for the castle in the background, but my towers, I am going to make it more like stone. And my drawbridge, I added the wood and the chain. And you notice that the walls on the side, I kind of aim them out in a way. So that helps give the visual effect of what is closer to you is bigger and what's further away from you is smaller. So you want to think about that as you're drawing as well. And I'm going to show you a couple examples of some castles. So this is the finished product of the one that I just showed you. As you can see, after I finished, I added the sky and the moat with some beautiful color. And I took a lot of time to make my stones different color to kind of have it pop out and give a little more of an effect. So there's a castle. Let's show you another one. Here's another castle, and this one you can see that there's vines growing on it, so you could do that as well. You notice how my towers look very curved, so even when I made the brick lines, I curved those, so that way it looks like it's rounded. So you wanna think about that when you're drawing. And let's see, I have a couple student castles that I can show you. These are second grade student castles. That one's nice and colorful. And I have one more to show you. And there we go. And they have a nice drawbridge and a moat on this one as well. And is the queen home? She is, look at the flag. So I want you to take your time, do your best, draw in your castle, have fun with it. You can always erase anything, and redo it. And then once you have it perfect, go over it with a nice dark crayon before you start coloring in your colors. That will help all the lines pop and look really good. All right, have fun.